Hi, I'm Chef Peter Gordon and I'm from New Zealand, uh, where I grew up eating New Zealand lamb all the time. It's tasty, it's delicious, it's really good, they're free range and really, really good to eat. What I want to show you is a quick midweek recipe. It's grilled lamb with uh, minted peas and potatoes and a tomato mint salad. Really delicious and really tasty. So what I've got here, New Zealand lamb neck fillets. If you can't get these, you could use something like lamb leg steak or loin of lamb or something. But I love these because they've got great flavour, they've got great texture, and they're quite an underrated cut of meat. What you want to do is butterfly them. So to do that, just lay it flat on a board and cut through horizontally like this, and you just open it up. Really good texture in there. Slice the other one open. And this will feed two people. Okay, so this is butterflied. Then you need to make a paste, and for that there, it's just a clove of garlic, some dried mixed herbs, a little bit of salt, pound that up, add a bit of extra virgin olive oil, just a tablespoon or two, and then a bit of freshly ground black pepper. So what you've got now is a really lovely aromatic paste. What you want to do is brush it on the lamb on both sides. So just put it on here and this just gives it a quick marinade and a lovely little bit of flavour. And what's good with New Zealand lamb, it's, it's kind of robust enough to take really good flavouring. It can take flavours from the Middle East, it can take European flavouring, Asian flavouring. It's really, really versatile. Just leave it at room temperature for about sort of 10 minutes minimum, half an hour maximum, and it'll just improve in flavour. Potato salad's really simple. Just got a pot of lightly salted water, and I'm using a mixture of a couple of potatoes, a little new potato, but also a lovely waxy potato. So just plonk them in, lid back on, and they're just going to boil away until they're almost cooked. Now I'm going to make tomato and mint salsa, which is the really refreshing part of it. And as you know, mint and lamb is a great combination. Uh, so it's just a, a play on that really, just trying to find a way to, to make an everyday dish um, midweek, just something a little bit special. So what I like to do is marinate the onions, slice them as fine as you want. You can cut them into rings like this if you want and just poke them out. Or if you want to do something a bit easier, if you're not feeling comfortable with your knife, to slice it in half lengthways and slice really thin crossways. So just put the onion into a bowl, add the juice and zest of uh, one lemon, just finely grate the zest. Juice on. And if you can, get unwaxed lemons, which means that the skin is just really pure, there's no waxiness on it. If, the, if they are waxed lemons, you do need to wipe it first with a, a warm, damp cloth, just to remove that. Give this a bit of a toss. And then just leave until the potatoes are cooked. So the onions have rested for five minutes, the, the lemon juice cures them, which is really good. And just grab a couple of tomatoes and some fresh mint. A little bit of salt and pepper to season the onions. Grab a good handful of mint, nice and fresh. Chop it thinly. Now you can eat the stalk on the mint, but when the mint gets old or the stalk is too woody, you definitely need to take the leaves off. A bit of extra virgin olive oil, good slosh of that. Then to slice the tomatoes into thin rounds. The lamb's good and rich and, and really tasty. And then you've got this lovely, fresh, salady salsa really that's going to go with it. And this smells really, really good, really nice and fresh. Okay. So the potatoes are just about cooked. What I'm going to do now is add some beans, and I've just taken the little stalky end off. These go into the pot, and then they're going to cook for about two minutes. So I've drained those in a colander. Now all I need to do is add a little bit of salt and uh, butter and pepper. Give it a stir.
and just put it to one side. It's time to cook the lamb. So the skillet's nice and hot and now it's time to cook the lamb neck fillet, which you can do just as well under the grill in the oven or if it's summertime on a barbecue. And either way it's going to come out really well. So the lamb's been marinating now for about 15 minutes. The skillet's really hot. And all you want to do, you don't need any oil in here, which is great because you've already put a bit of oil on there in the marinade. Just lay it on top. And once it's laying flat, just don't touch it for at least two minutes. Okay, so the lamb's had two minutes on the first side. Just flip it over, press it down flat onto the skillet. And this gets another two minutes. Mmm. Smell is amazing. Really, really gorgeous actually. And you can tell it's cooked when you press in the kind of the meat, not the thinnest or the thickest bit, but somewhere in the middle, and it should feel like this part on your hand. It's the same consistency, that means it's nice and medium. If you need to cook lamb neck fillet medium, loin you can do quite rare. So what I need to do is rest it now, because with all good meat to keep the juice in, you rest it for a couple of minutes. And then it's almost ready to serve. So the lamb's well rested and it's ready to serve up. Start off with putting on your nice potatoes and beans. Let's put them on the bottom of the plate. As I said earlier, I've got a combination of little waxy potatoes and little new potatoes. Then the lamb, just slice it into three pieces. Set this on top. And then to finish the dish, it's just the lovely tomato and mint red onion salsa, which gives it a real vibrancy and real freshness. A little bit of the juice. And that there is the midweek grilled lamb neck fillet with tomato salsa, beans and potatoes.